So hello guys and welcome to another video and in this video we will just quickly learn how to go back to stock ROM from the CyanogenMod ROM. So as you can see I am still on the CyanogenMod ROM and to make it clear this video will not be a tutorial video and this will just be an instructional video okay so I won't actually revert back to the stock ROM but I will give you the proper instructions with all the fast boot codes. Of course all the download links that I will mention or all the files that I will mention in this video and all the fast food commands that I'll mention in this video will be linked down in the blog post neatly which is be down in the description below so please head over that and to that blog post for all the files and all the fast food commands okay so the first thing that you need to do is you know download a few toolkit and a firmware so this will work with a specific firmware so if you have the latest firmware downloaded I'm sorry you have to download the firmware that I'll tell you to in this video okay it because you know we are downloading a specific recovery and we'll un we lock our bootloader so we need the specific firmware so you can revert to both kitkat and lollipop and i have instructions for both of that okay so the first of all you have to download the toolkit okay the lock the lock kit or the toolkit that will use to relock your bootloader now there's specific ones one for kitkat and one for lo lollipop so if you want to revert back to lollipop you download this toolkit that i have over here okay and if you want to go to kitkat okay you download the another one and all the links will again be down in the blog link blog post sorry down in the description below okay so the next thing that you'll need to do is okay so select all the files and copy it okay and paste it in your fastboot folder now if you st don't have fastboot the download link for the fastboot tools will also be present on the blog post so you can head over there and download it so after then you need to download the compatible firmware okay so for kitkat we have the firmware version 2.40.2.21.40.44 okay and for lollipop you have 3.23.40.52 now you know do not worry you can of course get the latest firmware but first you have to use this firmware to get back to the stock firmware and then you can just upload, you know, download the latest firmware and install it and instructions for that will be down in the blog post. Okay, so when you have done and completed downloading the firmware that you want to roll back to Lollipop or KitKat, just copy the file, okay, I'll use the Lollipop over there, just copy the firmware and also keep it down inside the ATP folder. So that will take some time, it's a big file. So while well that copies, make sure you're connected to your computer via your USB cable. Okay. So the things that we'll need to do right now is hit control, press control, shift and right click. Okay, and open command window here. Now this is where the real steps are starting, so be careful and do it at your own risk. Please do not try to use any other firmware file as this might give you boot loops and break your phone. So try to use the firmware version that I am using okay, and it will be linked down in the description below. Okay so now we should get going with the process. So the first thing that you need to do is reboot your phone into your bootloader. So for that you need to type out a tp reboot. So for this you also have to have the drivers installed and your USB debugging enabled. So please ensure you have that and type out this command and hit enter. So this will reboot you into your bootloader. So while you are in your bootloader the first thing that you need to do is flash the stock recovery according to your firmware. So just both the image file names are the same so you just need to type out this command so fast boot flash recovery recovery dot img so what this will do is flash the recovery the stock recovery into your phone so when that is done okay so the next thing that you need to do is flash the two dnx and ifwi files to unlock your bootloader so you have to type out the first name first file okay 
we have to type out dnx so this will select the dnx partition to flash and then you just type out that file name okay so you need to file out dnx underscore fwr underscore ctp underscore a500cg dot bin so these are dot bin files okay so you need to type out this whole file name dot bin and hit enter so and then it will flash the dnx file so the next thing that you need to do is file the ifwi file so you need to type out ifwi hyphen then you type out the other file name that's over here so ifwi underscore ctp underscore a500 cg remember the other file is for zenphone 6 so if you're on zenphone 5 you need to flash this file so you need to write down this file name dot bin now this whole fast food commands is also present in the blog post that is linked down below so if you cannot follow all the fast boot commands that i'm saying right over here you can also check the blog post for detailed written commands so you can so after that write down the file name of this dot bin and hit enter and this will flash out ifwi file so now you have your bootloader relocked and yes you can get ota updates okay so the next thing that you'll need to do is just quickly erase your system and data okay so that we can have just a clean install so you need to type out fast boot erase data so that will erase all your data okay and the next thing that you need to do is clear your cache so you need to type out cache okay so you need to type out fast boot erase cache so when you are on that done okay so the next thing that you need to do is head over and go to your recovery now use your volume buttons okay over here that and to scroll down up and down and select the recovery option and select the power button to head over into your recovery so when you are in in your recovery which is the stock recovery and not any custom recovery you can just you know press the volume button up and down to scroll down to atb side loading and when you're there just use the power button to select ATB side loading and you can see at bottom over there it will say you know waiting for file so when it says waiting for file all you need to do is push the stop from okay so the you do not need fast boot anymore you need to type out ADB okay side load side load space and then you need to type out the full file name of the okay, the firmware that you are flashing. So we have ul hyphen asus underscore t 0 0 fww 3.23.40.52 hyphen user dot zip. So this is a dot zip file. So you need to type out dot zip at the end and hit enter. Again, all the detailed password commands are down below in the blog post. So you can hit dot zip and hit enter, and this will flash the stock firmware. Okay. So wait for it to flash, it might take some time and then you, all you need to do is head over and do a normal reboot and it will automatically reboot into your stock ROM. Now to install the latest firmware, all you need to do is download the latest firmware, place it in your internal storage and reboot your phone. And your phone will either prompt you to install the update right away or you have to manually check for the update and you will get an option to install the update. So that's for the installing the latest firmware okay but for this tutorial please use this rom otherwise you might face boot loops and if you are using the latest rom for this it might work but you have to do it at your own risks because we installed the recovery for specifically this rom and for the specific kitkat rom that i have mentioned before in this video so that should get you back to your stock rom if you didn't like cyanogen mod or you know if cyanogen mod is giving you a lot of errors now please follow and subscribe this channel for more such videos okay i'll make an updated review video of the new cyanogen mod rom or build whenever that comes out okay so do not follow you know forget to hit the like button below it helps the channel and head over to our facebook page the link down in the description below and join the conversations and like the page that also helps this channel and thank you guys for watching Please do not forget to share this video with other people who might also need it, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next one.